When we look at the spray gun functionality, there are two main things you want to consider. The core of the spray gun is right here where the air valve is and the front part of the air tightness is obtained. So we want to make sure the needle goes through nice and smoothly, just the right amount of friction. To make sure about this process, after washing the spray gun, we usually need to lubricate these two specific parts. One is behind here, where this liner is. This makes sure that this part goes in and out smoothly. And the second part is right here. First of all, we remove the needle. And you can see there is another liner right there that has kind of a metal color versus the brass part inside. You want to put the grease right there on the perimeter of that liner, so to make sure that the needle can go inside nice and smoothly. And you want to make sure also to adjust this hexagonal key, the 10 millimeter key, to make sure it's just a little bit of friction, not more than that, and there is not air leakage behind it. So you need to have a needle that is smoothly operating back and forward. This is going to make sure that there is not air leakage, there is not paint flow leakage, and the gun is in proper condition and the gasket are not damaged, neither the liner or the needle.